the most difficult things to do is order and compare decimals. Sometimes that becomes hard because it looks like a decimal is greater than another because it has more digits. But that does, that's not necessarily always the case. So we're going to look at three decimals here, all in the thousandths place. This could make it a little bit easier for us. All right, one thing you want to do is you want to start from the left. Look to the right. Start from the left and work your way to the right. So we notice that these are all zeros, so that doesn't change anything. This is a 5. If we move one place to the right in each of them, we're going to see there's a 5, a 4, and a 5. So if we had to order this from least to greatest, we know that this one will go first because there's a 4 right there. So that means this number will be first. Now we look at, we go to the next. We have a 2 and a 5. We know that the 2 is less than the 5. Therefore, this one will go second. And finally, this one will go third. Remember, start from the left, work your way to the right. See if you can order these from least to greatest. To order these from least to greatest, we need to start from the left and work our way to the right. First thing we're going to notice is that all of them have threes in the beginning, so that doesn't really help us. When we go to the next digit, the fives, the five here, four here, five here, we're going to see that the four is the least. So that one will go first. We go to the next, we're down to these two. We can cross that off if that helps you. And we have an eight and a seven. We know that the seven is a little bit smaller, so this will go second. And finally, the last one is the largest one. Okay, this next one can be tricky because you're talking about comparing two decimals that do not have the same number of digits behind the decimal. So just by looking at, if you take away the decimals, we have 567 and 57. We know that 567 is greater. However, we're talking about 567 thousandths and 57 hundredths, completely different. So when you're doing this problem, don't change. Start from the left and work your way to the right. So we're going to start with 0 and 0. No change. 5 and 5, still no change. Then we get to 6 and 7. We can clearly see that that 7 is greater than the 6. Now you may be thinking, well, what about the 7 behind it? That does not matter because the first number that's different will tell you what order it should go into. Therefore, 57 hundredths is the same, or is greater than 567 thousandths. A little trick you can do. If we have that same problem, and you see that this side has three digits, you can easily just add a zero to the other side and make it also have three digits. Now it's easy to see because 570 is greater than 567. See if you can do this next problem.